All right. Welcome back. Oh, my gosh. I know. Where, hey, it's hard to tell. I'm wearing a Cubs shirt. <laughs> Welcome you know the Cubs back. aren't playing today. Welcome back to the big show. Mm. The very big show. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the Midwest Sports Show. Uh, my name is uh, Chris Stotts, and uh, we got Gene Steichen. I recognize that farm anywhere. As well. Right? Well, Gene, uh, you... Not, uh, the, not this far. You know what I was thinking? Don't b- bury the lead. Oh, well, okay. What, but, but go ahead. Is it the Cats fan of the opera? Oh, oh my gosh. I saw Miss Saigon. What were you thinking? I saw Miss Saigon again this week. You know what I saw? I saw Tower of Power, an average white band. I mean, Tower of Power was formed in 1968. Their, their former lead singer did 36 years in prison for first degree murder, so they have a new singer. But they sounded great. Yeah. But man, some of these, an average white band, they were formed in 71 or 72. So you saw Miss Saigon's Tower of Power, Gene? No, what kind I of saw, show was this? Oh my gosh. Ta- Miss Saigon's great. I saw it twice. <laughs> Tower of Power, they performed with the average white band. Hey, look at our cousins here. Hey, David. Yeah, David Walsh oh, yeah, is in yeah, the chat. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Tower of Power, because he goes to a lot of concerts as well. But I go a lot. So it was on the bill. Average white band opened up for Tower of Power. Okay, but y- you know, y- 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 these bands they have like one original member, and you're in there. They, I don't know. And, and, and the guy went to prison. That and, the and former the, lead singer tour? of Tower of Power spent 36 years in prison for murdering and, first degree murder. And he's back on tour. Well, no, he died. Uh, he's dead. Uh, they okay. well, they're formed in Oakland, so I guess a lot of bad stuff happens in Oakland, don't they? <laughs> Gene, yeah. that's uh sounds racially uh profiling. Oh, I okay, sorry, I take it back. How do you Oakland's know that? a great city. A lot of Why hipster don't you kids stab a new stadium? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. buy, 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 buy How can Oakland not have a new stadium? Sta- they can't be playing at the Coliseum. But I know where we are. Yes, we are uh on location. You heard of uh Where in the World is uh Matt Lauer? Yeah. Oh, this is my uh God. Where in the World is Gene Steichen. Hello. And uh we are because there's big news this week, Gene. It was so awesome. I want to go to the game. I wish the Cubs, maybe next year, I bet they'll do it every year now for sure. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have to cut down all those uh, corn stalks I all, don't know all how, the way. They're, they're not going to play on the actual, they're going to build the stadium next to the field. That's what I heard. Yeah, are people going to be, anyways, what we are talking about is that they're actually going to be playing a Major League Baseball game Yeah. At the Field of Dreams Man. location. Gene, you've been there. Many times. So, I would love to go. It's August 13th. If the Cubs are playing, but I know it's going to be a tough ticket, but I'm, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, I'll get there. I'll get there. So Maybe it, next year the Cubs will play there. Is it? Would you uh, equate it to like a Little League, uh, you know, park? There's only, the only, the only are there bleachers? bleachers? The only bleachers are there are from the movie. So it's like four. It's just it's just white. I'm trying to describe. So you have white bleachers. You have four rows of uh, one side of the down the first baseline. They have uh, so 50 people can sit there. Well, I don't hey, know listen, listen, watch the goddamn movie, right? Yeah, but if I'm thinking know, if you they, want if you want a visual picture, there's a movie about you it. You want huh? to talk? People are in for quite a surprise trying to get to that farm because it is one country road. I don't know how they're going to get eight thousand <laughs> cars on that road. What about all the trucks with all the uh, camera equipment and I, the cables and all I, that stuff? It's it's they can do. But they have the bulldoze like five farms well, just yeah, to uh, and, park there, and right? it's really hard to get to Dyersville, so people are probably well, stay in Dubuque. Hey, the farmers ain't selling anything to China, anyways, right? Yeah. Uh, that lands follow. Oh my gosh, that land so it's so great. I love the idea, but I'm just saying, it, you want to talk about a tough stadium to get out of? <laughs> that's going to be hard because there's only one gravel road, well, Gene, co- unless they pave a, a highway through. Gene, there. you just take Highway G up uh, <laughs> two miles there. And uh, yeah. take a left and yeah. uh, g- 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 Junction Way 5. Right, right. And uh, about uh, 50 houses. Just uh, hey. take a right down a sweet Highway 16. And yeah. It's going to be great for Dubuque because uh, everyone will stay in Dubuque, my hometown. And then because uh, the farm is right next to Dubuque. It's in Dubuque County. Dyersville is a really small town. Very small. Gene, you, you can walk to the state. Gene, you should just do that. Park in Mom's. 
And just I, walk that, walks I in the field. Walk. No, you can park in dark. Yeah, I don't know how they're gonna do that. But I'm, I'm. It's <laughs> well, Jane. Can fun. we all just agree this is a giant clusterfuck? And yeah. uh, who, no, who, who approve a, of this? I, I do. Manfred, mm, Ma- Manfred's me. stuck in his office in Manhattan. It doesn't know anything idea. about flyover country. Yeah, I bet. I bet in 21 the Cubs will be playing there. They'll, oh, this God. will be an annual event. Hey, they'll they'll play the World Series. I'm sorry, the uh, All Star game there, right? Yeah. I don't. I, for God's it seems sakes. so amazing that they're able to do this. And uh, Gene, I do have jokes for this. Uh, oh, okay. This portion yeah, of the show. I see you're very flexible. No more. Just move up the field of dreams. No more stuff. free balling here. No oh, more okay. free balling on the show. Oh, it was that uh, way so yes. Yeah, so just to uh, put an official bow on this, the okay. White Sox will play a game against the Yankees next summer at the site in Iowa, where the movie Field of Dreams was filmed, which is came out 30 years ago. For all of you youngsters, uh, t- 1989. Gene, I, uh, I'm guessing you're going to find some way to be there, right? You're going to somehow. If the Cubs were playing there, I would be there. I still yeah, I would say, like to go. No White Sox. Not big no, White Sox No, I would Sox, like man. to go, but it's the Cubs aren't home that week. I already, because the schedule, Major League Baseball schedule came out. If the Cubs were home, I'd fly home to see the Cubs in Chicago and then go to the Field of Dreams game. I know it's going to cost a lot of money, but what the heck. Let's just do uh, batting practice there yeah. and then move to a real stadium. Get in the buses. How far is it from uh, Wrigley Field? Oh, or, it's or right. Kaminsky, uh, old school. Uh, oh. <laughs> Whatever uh, the fuck it is now. Okay, from from uh, Guaranteed Rate Field, <laughs> it's about uh, 170 miles. I'm saying. All but. Right. There but you go. it's not like you take a super highway to all the way to Dyersville. You got to yeah. go through a lot of little towns. So you, yeah. you go on a two-lane highway and you're going 25 miles, you know, a lot yeah. of that kind and, of and stuff. And people are, like, passing each other. You're like, holy fuck, like, what's right. crazy? Right. You'll, you'll, you'll get stuck behind somebody on their tractor and you're like, hey, dude, push it along. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, uh, hey, Gene, we got some news coming out of the game, though. I, yeah. Forward of the game. Okay. Uh, the ghost of Shoeless Joe Jackson will not be invited. <laughs> oh, wow. He's still banned, Giant Gene. He's okay. still banned from the game I of see. baseball. Plus, He's not allowed. plus uh, him and the ghost of Reggie Jackson probably going to get into a fight. Wow. Is Reggie Jackson, he's dead, right? I know. He's still alive. He's still alive? Oh. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. Uh, well, uh, Thurman Munson died. There you go. Yeah, him and, Thurman, him, yeah, him and Shoeless Joe Jackson would not get along. Yeah. Thurman Munson died in 78. Yeah. Thurman Munson's pilot. Yes, he died in a plane Shoeless crash. Joe Jackson I didn't wear shoes. Yeah. yeah. I, don't I don't know how don't get that along. nickname. I never All right. Hey, that. Gene, will uh, will Hank be there? Steinbrenner? Oh, Hank Steinbrenner? The ghost of, well, is that his name? No, uh, yeah. George. George. Uh, jo- the boss. J- no, it's Hank. George. Now, George died. Well, the ghost, right? It's a field of oh, dreams. I, oh, I see what Is he going. going to walk out with a cigar? Right, right, right. And a uh, pot belly? Country. Right. Remember that scene, Gene, yes. from the movie? Yeah. When Kevin Costner said, hey, George Steinbrenner. Yeah, they're going to be like, dude, hey, by the way, is this just a marketing ploy to do some pickup scenes <laughs> for Field of Dreams too? Right. Yeah. If you see uh, Kevin Costner with a camera, I would ask for a filming permit. Oh, all that right? MLB network will be all over it. Because when they did their 25th anniversary there, Kevin Costner went, Bob Costas went. They showed the movie in the cornfield. Then they did Celebrity Game. Then they filmed it, and they showed that forever. So, yes, they're going to be all over this one. All right. And uh, to commemorate the game, uh, Kevin Costner will be catching the first pitch. And uh, what was like? What's that guy's name? He's married to. Uh, oh, what's the dude's name? Tall guy. Mm. God, what was that guy's name? Wait, in the movie? Yeah, in the movie with Kevin Costner. The, oh. It, I, the, who? He's married to uh, what is what's her face? Oh. Oh, this is a great pod. No, I'm saying, what do you, who the, was he, what did he play in the movie? Who uh, was he? <laughs> I'm talking about the movie Bull Durham, but oh, I, Bull Durham. Who was oh, that guy? You're talking oh, it's about yeah, Tim yeah, something, Susan right? Sarandon's Tim Robbins. Tim, Tim Robbins. Robbins. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Of so uh, yeah, Kevin. Co- okay, let's just imagine. Okay. The past thirty seconds right. didn't happen. Yeah, forget. I, yeah. So uh, also, what will happen in the uh, you know before the game, Gene? Kevin what? Costner is going to catch the first pitch, pitched by Tim Robbins. Oh, I see. Although Tim Robbins, I bet I bet Costner. Uh, you're supposed to say that's Bull Durham. Oh, that's Bull Durham. Oh, oh no, no, no. Actually, actually, wait. You should say no. That's 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 another movie. That's the perfect game. Remember that perfect that, that, game movie? 
That's another baseball movie with yeah, Kevin Costner. What, the perfect game? No, the other movie with Kevin Costner. He did what? Three baseball Bull Durham? Movies. No, the other. He was in the right, rookie, right. too, right? Was he in the he rookie? Was in his, that was, uh, that was uh, Dennis Quaid. Oh. Or no, Dennis Quaid was something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> to me. But I bet Kevin Costner may make an appearance. <laughs> what are the odds on that? Negative well, uh, one there. billion? Last time they did the big reunion, he was there. Oh, yeah. And it, you know what else? When during that time his band played in Dubuque, my hometown, so there. Yep. And uh, all right, so we don't know yet if George Steinbrenner is yeah, going to be there. He'll be there. You will be there. Out. All right. Yeah, Gina, how about and ba- Cy Young? Thank <laughs> you, Fred. Thank you, cousin David, for that. Cy Young, who, he didn't play. For, did he play for the White Sox? No, no we, we gotta be, White Sox. They got to be tangentially related. Hey, Gene, how about this? Uh, Babe Ruth, because it's the Yankees. Oh, right, the right. Yankees are playing the White Sox. Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig. Yeah, I mean, where does it end, Gene? To what right. end? Who did the White Sox play in this Black Sox? He's, he was gonna. Uh, I think it was. I think it was the. Uh, was it the Cubs? It may have been the Cubs. No. Oh no, it wasn't the Cubs. But I'm not sure. Oh, it was the Reds, wasn't it? Oh, I don't I think, think it was the so. Reds. Eh, I, I, don't I don't know. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, Gene. To what end? I mean, that's gonna be the sequel, right? Field of Dreams too. Kevin Costner has to pick between the uh, shitty. Uh, uh, you know, Black Sox or uh, you know, the twenty seven yeah. uh you know Yankees. Man. What is it was this like a Space Jam three? Right. Yeah. How did they invite <laughs> the Yankees? I mean, it's already gonna be crazy enough. And then they have the yeah. Yankees there. Have this for like uh Montreal or uh, the Kansas City Royale. This, this would be good if you want to get people it's that? gonna be that that's really cool they're doing it. So All hopefully right. there'll be a yearly event, which I predict there'll be, and then uh I'm sure because the Cubs this week are playing in the the Little League Stadium, which no oh tickets are. They didn't. <laughs> they you can't even buy tickets on StubHub. They're only for Little Leaguers. So they're playing in a uh, uh, Sunday. The guys have one game at that because the Little League World Series will be this weekend at Wrigley Next Field. Week. No, in in uh, uh, Williamsport. So is like the field like only uh, 180 yeah, feet wa- long small. or so? I don't. I'm not sure. I mean, they, they, they can't they, count that as stats, right? No, I don't. They've been doing this every year, so I'm not sure how it works. But the Cubs will be playing the Pirates at the Little League at in Williamsport. I wanted to I go, mean, but the tickets they didn't make tickets available to the public. There's no way that field is like professional mm. athlete quality right i, I don't mean, know they they've they, yeah they've done something jesus though. christ right. and what you're gonna jump up on that chain link fence yeah why not i don't think so okay if you're uh freaking some mm. who's like uh schwarber yeah you tell me schwarber's going up on the chain link <laughs> fence i don't think so <laughs> He, All right, well, Gene, that was a good uh, segment talking about right. the uh, Cubs' uh, upcoming games hey, because wait a, yeah, we're going to talk about the uh, NL Central update. Man, a lot, I, I a lot th- has changed, Gene. I thought the Cubs had the Brewers kind of demoralized. Right, right, right where you wanted them. Yeah, the Cubs swept the Brewers. I go, okay, take that. You got to be demoralized. <laughs> Brewers turn around. And listen, and Gene, the uh, don't get it mistaken. Last week, uh, it was a sa- sob story over here. Yeah, uh, Brewers in Brewers good. Kingdom fandom. Yeah. So if you want some Schadenfreude about a Brewers fan, go uh, listen to uh, last week's episode, mm-hmm. or even watch it and see my face. Didn't you feel after the Cubs, I go, that's it. Let's uh, Brewers. I said Brewers man, don't look so good. But they went on the road, and man, well, the Pirates are punching back. Let's uh, let's recap. We played the Pirates, who I thought was a good were a good team. I they they, they have good players, up, right? Hey, they've been beating up on the Cubs uh, this year. Of course, so have the Reds, <laughs> but. And uh, Brewers handedly pretty mm. much uh, def- uh, swept the Pirates. Well, and then uh, the Cardinals, then then the Cardinals swept them. So hopefully the Cubs play them this weekend. Please, Cubs sweep. Them well, maybe up. that's when they get their mojo back. Yeah, they probably will. The Cubs are. Oh my gosh, they're bad. And then meanwhile, right. the uh, Cubs were playing. Who was your early at series? Cincinnati. At Cincinnati. Oh, oh, Oakland played. Oh, Oakland. Oakland. First. You uh, you didn't sweep that, right? But you no, went two, two out, out of one. Yeah, two out of three. Yeah, yeah. Yep. so there you go, two to one. Uh, so there you go. Oakland didn't really put up much of a fight. They're they're a good uh, team though. Yeah, they're, they're good. They're good. And then uh, yeah, so you go be in the playoffs. So you play the Reds, a four oh game series, God. and the Cubs haven't won a series since May seventeenth on the road. Yep. Oh, they're now they're o ten and no, now they're o nine and two on the road in their last eleven series because they tied the Reds. Yep. So Which uh, is almost a miracle. You guys anyway. lose three out of no, four two, against the Reds. Two and two. Oh, was oh you uh, won the first game and won the fourth okay. game. All right, my mistake. Yeah. 
Uh, meanwhile, the Cards Cardinals lose five in a row. Yeah, but didn't they come home and sweep the Pirates? Thanks a lot, Pirates. <laughs> yeah, well, you better be nice to the Cubs, too. Including they got swept by the Dodgers. I believe they're in L.A., oh, right? Oh, my. Yeah, I watched and, uh, that. Did Dodgers you see, are so good. Have you seen that new picture the Dodgers yeah, have the, with, the, with the, the hair? The hair. carrot top guy yeah. hair? Gosh, the Dodgers have. Every day it seems like they bring somebody up from the minors that is a phenom. Yep. Yep. And they and they, their 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 regular roster is fantastic. That's a kind of that's a farm system you want with mixed with regular. Well, Gene, you see all these pitchers with yeah. this crazy long hair yeah. these days. You know, uh, Sonegard or Syndergaard. Yeah. Josh Hader from yeah. the Brewers. You know, that the Dodgers got guys. two young rookies, both with crazy long Dude, hair. It's uh, I think this is a uh, competitive advantage. Oh, how that, so? That because see, I'm trying to play long. See, uh, so? oh, that's a yes and. Oh, okay. because you know when you pitch, right? It's all about like hiding where the ball is and right. what's the ball going to be as okay. long as you can, right? So yeah. if you got like a bushel of hair, right, on each side of your uh, head, you know, aren't you like kind of covering up that ball? All right. Like uh, to the most uh, maximum go point. That? There you sure. go. That's some analytical. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's some analytical sports. Why don't more people no, do it's... the crazy mustaches? Uh, I think it's just uh, you can put wax on there and all that yeah. stuff. But uh, boy, I thought St. Louis was buried too, and then they come home and man, the Pirates—they help out uh, the other teams in the Central. Yep, except for the Cubs. So the Cubs well, had they. Hey, l- listen, they could have. Uh, I I'm almost relieved they didn't get lose three out of four. Reds are actually pretty good. Yeah, they can hit. They, they so- could. Suarez. Yeah, they the got guy's this awesome. new. You know what? That's why they got ri- they got rid of Puig and they brought in this rookie. He's a female. Yeah. He he hit three home runs in three at bats in a row, right? Yeah. And then uh, Trevor Bauer, who's got to be kicking himself because he he was on Cleveland, who's a good team, and now he's playing for the Reds. But he he beat up the Cubs. He was good. Yeah. Yeah. So, Reds, Reds are not bad. Whatsoever. So the the Cubs got six more games on the road, and so hopefully. The, uh, the last 11 series, they've, they haven't won one. So hopefully they'll either win in Philly or Pittsburgh. And if they don't, I don't know what to tell you. Then that's ugly. Yep. All right. Well, you know what's ugly mm. is uh, when the Cubs are uh, winning, you know, 12 to 2 or whatever. And then uh, the hijinks ensue. Oh, my gosh. Including, I watched that game. Uh, Gene, a lot, of, a lot of players on the uh, Chicago Cubs have no respect for the oh, game, Oh, look Gene. at that pitcher. That's respect. The Reds are pitching. And, of pitching. course, I'm talking about, well, Strope, first of all, with his goddamn hat cocked I to know, one side. That, oh, my gosh. It's so annoying. Uh, it's, it's, how about you get through to- the inning and then you cock your I hat? I know. Huh? I can tell when he's pitching decent, but he hasn't pitched good. Oh, my gosh. He's and been now a- yeah. we have Javi Baez. Now, Javi can do no wrong. Who uh, loves striking out so much, he's going to do it from the uh, left side of the plate <laughs> now. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, 12 and, I don't know, 2, whatever. It was yeah. a big, big win, blowout. And then the position player was pitching for the Reds. Not Joey Votto, I'm assuming. <laughs> no. Joe, Joey don't pitch. I don't know who this guy was. And he, he wasn't even trying to throw it fast. He was just throwing. Yeah, just throwing they, knuckleballs, yeah, right? So, so slow. It wasn't even knuckleballs. He was just, it, it was so slow it didn't register on the radar yeah. gun. So Javi is batting uh, left-handed, disgracing the game. No, he's a lefty the naturally. No, but he uh, he gave it a, a whirl, right, didn't he? Yeah, but, I mean, the ball was so slow it could only go to medium center field. Yeah, so. yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Oh wow! Ah, uh, there you go. Just that yeah. was fun. That was fun when that happened. Then the Reds turn around and go, "Yeah, take this Cubs," and then they beat the Cubs two straight after that. So yeah, not so. Who's laughing now, huh? Yeah, Hobby? who's laughing now? Be careful, Cubs. <laughs> you got win tomorrow. Dude. Yeah, I like how you uh, you're not afraid to uh, you know what the yeah. what, what, I don't know. The, well, the, the cards central, fall as they may. I don't. I'm. Hey, All right, so let, let, let's look back at the standings here, shall we? Yeah. And whoever wins the Central has to play Atlanta. It's guaranteed because the Dodgers will play the wild card. So I think everyone's kind of idle today, right? Am I correct yeah. here? Yeah. Uh, well, Reds are playing Nationals. They're getting beat up on right now. Yeah. Uh, St. Louis uh, plays. Oh, Pirates are playing the Angels in L.A. I'm, I'm going to guess the Angels win. That's God, the Pirates, they totally quit. All right. So Chicago is uh, still number one. Uh, St. Louis is two games behind. Milwaukee is uh, two and a half games behind. Oh, yeah, and by the way, Milwaukee swept the Pirates. 
two out of three against uh, Texas. Texas, uh, it was Jim Miner or something like that, or John yeah. Miner or something like that. I saw some of that game. Pitched 98 pitches in eight innings and only gave up four hits or something like that. So it was a yeah. pretty good day for him. So, but um, it's gonna be it's gonna be wild. But I'm not I'm not worried. If the whoever wins at Central, you have a chance. I, I'd rather just win and try take your chance against the Braves and see what happens. Well, who else we got? I mean, Atlanta. I mean, are, are Atlanta's going to win. Are they too young to? Uh, I don't go know. To the They're World pretty Series? good. But and then the, whoever wins the Central has got to go on the road. Atlanta's going to have home field, and then Dodgers Even will Dodgers, have home yeah. field so overall. Will Dodgers be able to do it. Does anyone want to see the Dodgers be in the World Series three years? Wow! In a row? If they don't win this year, ooh. Are they the only National League actually spending money? National League team? I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe the Mets. I think the Cubs. Phillies, I guess. Yeah, Phillies. Phillies. Wow. And now Bryce Harper is leading off? You're paying a guy $350 (laughs) million to lead off? Uh -uh. You think base? That's terrible, isn't it? Ricky Henderson's like, hey, what about me? I can hit better than this bum. They're desperate. Oh, my gosh. The Phillies are in trouble. Gabe, Gabe, get through on out, Gabe. One more time, Kepler. All right, and then, uh, Gene, just really quick, uh, some uh, Instagram rumors mm-hmm. where a picture of uh, Ryan Braun and Yelich were uh, looking at a uh, open space. Oh. Uh, got some wow. rumors going. Are they going to open up a restaurant? I would not go into business with Ryan Braun. Well, He'll steal from you, <laughs> lie from you, and it, it, you'll end up having to testify. Against yeah, somebody. there'll be a lot of beef, uh, a lot of steaks right. missing, and then it'll mm-hmm. be like, yeah, prove hey, it. Look, look, learn from Aaron Rodgers. What happened to their well, that, restaurant? That's the funny thing. Why would Yelich, uh, you know, open up a restaurant with Braun? I wouldn't. If uh, Aaron Rodgers had already done that and not done it. Yeah. Well, Gene, it's uh, Yelich is a millennial, Gene, and uh, as you know, for a millennial, nothing happened before uh, you know, right. 2010. Okay. So well, uh, I think Yelich just fine. did. Okay. Yelich just hasn't. Yelich just hasn't Googled Braun. All right. I think that's what it is. Sure. So. All right. And then we talk about the Field of Dreams. Can be very exciting. So there you go. Great for Iowa. (laughs) Hey, when you cross into Iowa, it says saying, welcome to Iowa, Field of Dreams. They couldn't get the copyright. They couldn't get it. So it says, welcome to Iowa, Fields of Opportunities. Yeah. Doesn't have the same rank, but that's what they use. Put a toll booth, right? It's too bad they can't use Field of Dreams. Field, isn't it? But yeah, Kevin Costner. Yeah, do they, your part. They can't like he has any control. Of it. I mean, it'd be so cool. You were, who, were coming to Iowa? And who said, made it? Columbia? No, uh, I believe Paramount. Okay. Mm, yeah. Get get uh, oh, no. who? I mean, Paramount is their own company, or are they owned by someone? Yeah, they're a big know. conglomerate. They're All too right. big to for Viacom, Iowa to right? take on. Yeah. Viacom Paramount. <laughs> All right, hey Gene, I uh, I know about Midwest Sports. I don't know about uh, the entertainment uh, companies. All right. Okay. Well, All right. you leave that to me. Well, Gene, we got some NFL news, including uh, why the Packers suck from oh. real uh, Packer fans in a moment here. Yeah. And uh, but first, we got some other Packers news, including uh, some reports from the Packers, Texans, Houston Texan, Texans, mm. joint practice right. scrimmages. That guy. And, yeah, I, uh, I'm not a fan, dude, of what you're up to. There was a Houston. fight. There was a fight. At the scrimmage, practice, whatever you want to call it. And uh, Texans coach Bill O'Brien removed cornerback Lonnie Johnson. uh, Although he described it as not a big deal. Wow. The Packers apparently did not agree. And this is from uh, Mike Florio's uh, NFL post or whatever. Several players were upset after Johnson's big hits in practice. And a scuffle broke out at one point after Johnson stood over Packers tight end Jace Sternberger and flexed. And Sternberger later had to go in for a concussion protocol. That was unnecessary. Packers wide receiver Devontae Adams said, you got plenty of time for that. You can do that in a game and you get fine. Be a coward and do that in practice, blah, 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 blah. It's a brotherhood across this league, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, goes on and on and on. Mm. I think uh, some of these Texan boys, right, need to be put on a leash. What, Coach O'Brien? Oh my gosh, you, I don't think you can even say that today, these days. I mean, well, I don't mean uh, it's too I, close no, to no, a no, 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 Listen, no, 
No, that's I'm a, not saying. Listen, I'm not singling out. I'm talking about the white play, the quarterback too. I'm oh, singling okay. out the white. Oh, Deshaun I, I Watson think, is their quarterback. I think right? that statement would get in trouble. I don't know. It's nothing about race, dude. I know, but everything. That's the other thing about it. football hoodlums. Okay, all right. Sorry. Who, who's the white? <laughs> I can't. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. I'll tell you about JJ Watt too, Gene. Oh no, they have a black quarterback. Yeah, Deshaun Watson. Oh, Deshaun Watson. I'm talking about, hey, oh, JJ Watt. I'm talking about Brian Cushing. Yeah, that Brian, was the first guy. I don't, I don't think he's on the team anymore. I can't even name a black guy on the Texans, right? Yeah, so okay, nothing, nothing to go. do about race. Right. Okay, my and, bad. And uh, listen. Yes. Coach O'Brien. Oh, this is for Coach O'Brien. Yeah, the yeah. directly. This is uh, for your ears. Uh, this is Green Bay, Wisconsin. There you go. Okay. This ain't Junction, Texas. Junction. Wasn't that Alabama? All right. The Junction boys. All right, Coach Brian. Guess what? Oh, this is for you. You better get those guys on a leash. You ain't Bear Brian. Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, it might All have been. Right. It might have been. It was, you yeah, don't. Junction. Hey, listen. You don't have a goddamn checkerboard hat. Right, right. The Junction Boys. So uh, take that shit back to Houston. That don't play here. Where it belongs. That don't. That don't uh, sit well in Green Bay. You better hope we don't see on the regular schedule. Mm. <laughs> I'll be I'll be seeing they're not coming. I'm going to Green Bay twice, uh, but it's not going to be Houston. It's going to be Denver one game and then Detroit. Gene, can you imagine being a professional football player and uh, delivering a big hit in practice? And oh, my flexing gosh. over some guys. It's so uh, crazy, tacky, stupid. Yeah, those are your brothers out hey, there. I, I would say they're not, they're I would not. say see you, in the, see you in the Super Bowl. Right. You guys ain't going near the Super Bowl. Oh, Aaron Rodgers, nobody's giving him a chance. He's got to have one more Super Bowl run in him somehow. Hey, it might be this year. Okay, All I right. like it. Well, Gene, you know who uh, – oh, I do have some uh, other uh, Oh, NFL Vikings? News. Well, I guess we can uh, talk about that. They signed a but, kicker. Uh, they, tr- <laughs> they got that kicker. Listen, I'm so sick of uh, kicker talk. Oh, I know. The Bears I, are I, – I could have, like, rolled that down, but anyway, it's just it's I just, know, it's just I a know. joke. They These traded kick- a fifth-round pick for him, though. He's, these teams have this psychosis of uh, kickers so that any kicker comes into the organization, there's so much pressure on them. Right, absolutely. And uh, it just spreads. You get, you, you're get you a good kicker, and then you're a bad kicker. I mean, God, yeah. you think all this crap that uh, – what's his face of, of the Bears? Yeah, uh, uh, Cody Parker. Well, I'm just saying the coach. What's the coach's oh, name? Oh, Matt Nagy. Yeah, Matt Nagy. Do you think the shit he's doing? Uh-huh. You think that's helping? Uh, obsessing over it, making I know. people watch. And now, and now it doesn't seem like they're happy with either guy they got on the roster. Oh boy! So just man. leave it alone. Leave it alone. Stop. Or put him on a leash. All right. <laughs> yeah. Put a leash on that shit. Yeah. Well, Gene, uh, some big news out mm-hmm. of uh, Vikings camp mm-hmm. is that Kirk Cousins might have problems with ass sweat on the ball. What? I, I wasn't aware of that. Okay. He might have some problems with ass sweat know, on the I, ball. I, it wasn't that I didn't hear you. It was that I didn't uh, quite understand what you You haven't doing. heard about the story, Gene? No, I haven't. You haven't masturbated furiously to the story, oh, Gene? no, I haven't. Not at all. All right, Not I'm going to take once. it, uh, quote, Cousins, I'm going to take it back to how much he sweats again, Cousins mm-hmm. said by uh, Andrew Cram- Kramer of the Star Tribune. He promises it's not a problem in games. So the whole problem is that uh, their their oh. their their new rookie center, right? His ass sweats a lot wow. of ass sweat. Oh boy, a lot of sweat coming to this guy's ass. I man. think you've said that many times now. Yeah, yeah, and uh, maybe a problem with Kirk Cousins. All hands. righty, okay. Uh, he says it's not a problem on game. Okay, so uh, he promises it's not a problem in games, but it remains to be seen because. His shorts today were soaked. Oh. He says it's not a problem on game day, so the moment of truth is Friday night. But apparently, you know, they keep their, these domes air conditioned. You get on a break and on the bench with those cooling fans, and hoping that really helps. Yeah. Gene, right. if you need to scheme for your center's ass sweat, <laughs> you've already lost the game. Uh, all right. I that's a story. I I mean I I try to follow the NFL, but that's a story I haven't it, heard. It slipped under your radar. Yeah, that one's way under my radar. Uh, if it's a if it's tough, we might have to be in pistol and shotgun all year, which Coach Kubiak and uh, Kevin blah 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 wouldn't like very much. Wow. Let well, me tell you. On let me tell you, Gene. The only problem with uh, wetter shorts are Vikings fans. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Damn. Yeah. I mean, what? I mean, I, I guess that's a question you got to ask on draft day. Hey, how sweaty is your ass? Yeah. Wow. Can you, you fill this? Again. Can you fill this cup? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then we did have a uh, quick story about uh, per the Chicago Tribune. Mm. Bears third year quarterback Mitchell Trubisky's first two weeks of training camp were uneven and occasionally I, frustrating. Yeah, quote unquote. I from because I listen to the ESPN Chicago and it it doesn't sound they're thrilled with. Yeah, and he, he's not going to play in the preseason. I don't think not throw the ball. Maybe he'll play one series. <laughs> don't, don't want to. Uh, he he him. played one series. He handed the ball off, but I don't think he's going to be. Yeah, I uneven and occasionally frustrating. Gene, you might as well just call his whole career that. Yeah, this is kind of a big year for him. So we'll find out September fifth. Packers at the Bears, which hopefully I'll be at. Unless I'm, I'm still waiting for ticket prices to drop below four hundred before I even, uh, even, yeah. Well, Let's start Gene, there. Add another six hundred to the uh, tolls right there. Yeah, that's right. You know, don't forget that. Mm. All right, so Gene, uh, it is that time. Once again, where we are going to go through the uh, your team, your favorite team sucks. Is it Tampa by, Bay's uh, turn? <laughs> no, it is uh, the Packers' turn. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh, Drew McGarry. Plus, he's a Vikings fan, so he, he, but he doesn't write the letters. Well, again, Gene, maybe I'm just getting older, and maybe just everything's been like fucked out, right? And all that stuff. But a lot of these letters are not even that good. Oh. You know, not 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 really like any really like really I good stories. I think the people of Green Bay are not overly optimistic. Oh yeah, I that's how I feel. So maybe I thought maybe the letters would be kind of harsh. Well, I guess the, there's only one way. Oh, to find out. and I didn't know. I don't know any what the letters say. I didn't read them ahead of time <laughs> or anything. I'm just yeah. Gene is uh, completely in the dark on this. It's I like am. The I, this one I don't question. know. Yeah. All right, Kurt. Kurt says, uh, mm, "Kurt, so many of the fat fucks here still actually think that they own the team." <laughs> oh my gosh! I will. Uh, yes, that that is correct. That's a good one. Aaron Rodgers has a new coach to ignore. <laughs> That's from Brendan. That's good, Brendan. Yeah, and Brendan. short and to the point. Yep. Well, I just imagine like does Drew get like these super long letters, and then he just like takes the best segment. Yeah. Maybe. Of it or the best portion. Yeah. There's a little editing. Yeah. All right, Grant. Grant. Grant says uh, leper colonies have a better survival rate than this team. <laughs> See, fans are. I think it's all fans, about delivery. You guys. Yeah, that was probably good. thinks that I do deliver. I, I think I think the fans are not. Yeah, we'll see. Jane, can you goes. imagine the show being on like ESPN at like midnight? Right. <laughs> yeah. Or, well, or, or remember FS Wisconsin. They tried that? that with Barstool Sports, and it only lasted yeah. one episode. Well, thank God we don't have any uh, racist uh, content in the old way. Remember you that? Just, just go they, back twenty minutes. They did and, a uh, show, and it lasted one episode. Wow. Yeah. All right, Nate. It says my mother-in-law joined us for a Packers game a few years back. Uh, before halftime ended, an obese, shirtless man sitting behind us vomited on her, mm. and then for di- <laughs> and then fell directly on top of her. Mm. The guy did not get kicked out. Wow. Well, he's a season ticket holder. I mean, come oh, on. Oh, I've seen. Right, right. Come on, rules are rules, right? Right. John. John. John says, "We have one of the greatest QBs of all time, and everyone here won't stop a- bitching about how he doesn't talk to his mom." She probably mm. she probably sucks. Hmm. I agree with that. Right. Probably. I oh, agree. I don't know. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers talk to family. Right. Uh, Zach says because I'm perpetually disillusional enough to believe the organization will go to and win a Super Bowl every year, despite allowing a glorified gym teacher to squander a dynasty potential prime of one of the most gifted players in NFL history. Wow. That's pretty. That's why the Packers suck. That's that's a that's actually a very good ladder and also very sad, but you just look. nailed it on that. Yeah, I really did. I mean, wow. T- yeah, he, that's a hard one to argue. Wise with. words. Wise yeah. words. Yeah. All right, Esteban. Oh, Esteban. Esteban. Es- Somehow I'm thinking Esteban's it, it, uh, not not from Wisconsin. Maybe I, it, that was my first. Maybe too. maybe came there as a young child. Right. And uh, yeah. I that was my. <laughs> 
first time. She was, we don't we don't have a racist past, Gene. Nothing racist. Put him on a leash. Well, something with JJ Watt. All right. Uh, Esteban says uh, the Packer the Packers owners mm. are as I'm evil. The Packers owners are as evil miser- miserly. Is it miserly or miserly? I'm gonna say miserly yeah. and hateful. As wow. any actual owner for an NFL franchise, just with a lot less money. Wow. That is 100% correct. That would 100% be mean. correct. Yeah. Well, not you, G. You're not, I mean. I'm one of those you, 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 You're not like in uh, delusion. No, no. You know, you just bought a piece of paper and yeah. a frame. I've done it twice. Yep. Or no, just once, but I got two frames. Yeah, okay. Gregory says, uh, our color rush uniforms are white. The players look like tampons out there. Wow. Could be correct. Yeah, why don't they just go like all yellow mm-hmm. or something? Or That'd all be green. pretty cool. Yeah, all yellow. Uh, Grant says the one epic playoff collapse the Packers weren't included in, which of course is the Atlanta collapse to uh, New England. Oh, right. Yeah. Our new head coach was, yes. So, oh, wow. Man on the floor was uh, the quarterback's coach for Atlanta wow. Falcons for that game. That was a tough one. Atlanta may never recover from that one. Mm hmm. Graham says the mere mention of the name Brandon Boystock, Boystick, mm. makes me want to slam my own head in a car door. I agree with that. Who? Okay. Brandon Boystock, he's the guy that uh, when Seattle kicked off and did oh, that. Oh, yeah, that. that, that uh, wow. That's some, one of the most painful kick. last losses of all time. Yeah, he, he wasn't course. even supposed to catch the ball. He was just supposed to block and let Jordy Nelson catch it. Oh, my God. A lot of Packers players uh, seem to do stupid stuff. like on That one, games. that was so, oh, that's tough. All right, Tim. Tim says, a, uh, a good friend of mine still believes we didn't give Brett Hudley enough of a chance to show what he can do. That, so those are, the, those are the young uh, right, right. quarterback, or I'm sorry, Packer fans, because uh, if you're old – well, I mean, you hate him because he's a black quarterback if you're, like, an old Packer fan and all that stuff. Mm. But, uh, yeah. He's not in the league. Is he still in the league even? He might, Doesn't I, he play for Seattle or there someone? Isn't he, like, I a don't know if he's Seattle? even on a roster anymore. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I think he played for nah, – I don't know. Yeah. Uh, James says, maybe if this fucking team didn't all decide to take turns on IR all year, they'd have a chance. So, yeah, it is true. Like, seems like Packers have a new player on IR every single week. Yeah. HJ. HJ says defense still remains a nice concept in Green Bay. I look forward to fans asking, is Clay hurt? I don't see him out there. While simultaneously demanding that Jordy Nelson be brought back. Yeah. Where's Clay? Where's Clay? I, I mean, I don't know. Do the Packers have another white guy with long blonde hair? How's in the game? Clay doing? Is he going to be good? I don't. Is he on the Raider? <laughs> he hasn't been he's good for like five Raiders. years. He gets like one sack a game. Yeah. Can't tackle. All right, Aaron. This is from Aaron, not Rodgers. Oh, okay. Yeah, Drew, uh, we don't need to know that it's not Rodgers, okay? Right. Did you do some freaking investigating on that, Drew? Yeah. Name your source, of Joe. Yeah, how do you know that? Can you prove that? Right. I have never been so happy to watch this team lose a football game as I was when they lost to the goddamn Cardinals and damn damned him to an eternity of yelling at high school referees. Talking about Mike McCarthy here. Wow. He's gone and I'm free. Yeah. Caps and exclamation point. Chris with a K. Chris with a K. I grew up in Wisconsin, still live here. Every stereotype you've ever heard about these cheese guzzling, beer sw- swilling, DUI accumulating, Scott Walker voting, Patsy White, men and women of uh, Mississippi is apt. It's true. That's that's correct. That's the most a hard statement. There's a uh, yeah. I mean, hey, listen. There's a couple. You know, there's good people. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think I don't know. It's weird because I feel like my generation like grew up, got good educations, got out of Wisconsin. And pretty much all the people let left uh, are Donald Trump voters. So uh, that's kind of. Yeah. That might be an inept point. Who knows? All right. So, Dylan, not everyone, obviously. But, right. Uh, you not know, the peop- people in Madison. You know, people that actually vote. Yeah. All right. Dylan, looking into, uh, looking into back-to-back generational QBs have turned me into such a fucking spoiled brat. I'm definitely afraid that the that the recent trend of mid-tier performance on the field is going to be the norm for a long time. And I guarantee you I will be the most insufferable asshole about it. Fuck Brandon Boystock with a grainy photo of Brett Favre's wow. dick. Wow. 
Wow. I really should just... Well, first of all, Drew should have just had only that last part. Yeah. yeah I should have edited it. Oh, my God. Do we got some more left? Uh, okay. The worst part... Uh, this is from uh, Daniel. The worst part about this team is has been and will most likely continue to be the season ticket holders. Mm-hmm. That's probably correct. In a system that has corrupted so... That, that has corrupted so terribly, it makes Putin blush. These people have held on to their seats for years and will hand them down to the next generation. This means almost every person at the game is either a third generation ticket holder or a non-season ticket holder that had to pay five times the face value. I've never seen a group of people who show up to support their team at a game, yet simultaneously seem to hate being at the game more than Packers season ticket holders. It's like seven thousand. It's like, it's like a seventy thousand long DMV waiting line. You're surrounded by baby boomers who treat going to games as if they're attending a sacred pagan ritual. <laughs> And if you disturb it in any way, as in stand up, clap, make any noise, doing anything other than a third of golf in the five yard inch light on, blah, 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 then the crow god won't bless us with our bountiful harvest. All right. Well, that's quite a mouthful there. All right. Another Matt. It took us 13 years to fire a guy who would skip team meetings to get a massage, and he didn't even get the full Robert Kraft. Wow. Remember that? Remember Mike yeah. McCarthy would uh, get massages? Yeah. During meetings. All right, so uh, I'm just going to skip to, like, some short ones yeah. here. Uh, yeah, so wow. we got some longer ones. All right, here we go. Here's here's the long one. Uh, because Packers surveyed the landscape, looked at all those, do you know Sean McVay, you're hired memes, and said, we're not going to do that unless we can get him in a socially awkward deer in the headlights package. That's when Matt LaFleur knew it was his moment to shine, I swear to God. If I had read one more sentence about the relationship between Matt LaFleur and Aaron Rodgers, I will swim across Lake Michigan and slap them both. Green Bay has spent uh, seven million draft picks on defense. Spent wow. huge money on multiple defenders this offseason. Got rid of Clay Matthews' bloated cl- corpse, and Mick Perry's broken hand. How can you break your hand every single fucking year? And somehow they will still regularly give up first downs and third and fifteen. Jesus fucking Christ! Wow. Good luck. I now I'm I'm a hey, little worried. Listen, it's a new team, new GM, yeah. new season, new they, coach. Maybe they shouldn't even show up September 5th for the Bears game. I, I wouldn't be surprised to go in there and win. Why not? Well, listen, we still, you know, we were always pretty good because of Aaron Rodgers. Now we got Aaron Rodgers and maybe a competent coaching staff. Yeah, and a running game, right? I mean, who knows? I don't, I don't know who the running game is. I heard is, someone so. said they're going to try to run. Oh, yeah, that there. one guy that's uh, pretty good, which I cannot even name. So, yeah. Hey, who knows? Uh, you hey, know, we're going to find out in three weeks. Oh, it's so exciting. College but, football and pro football will be back. I know. Gene, I mean, you know, just got to, you know, mm-hmm. s- sports is going to happen whether you're alive or not or you're paying attention or yeah. not. So just don't let it define your life. Don't make it happy and sad. That's just what I'm trying to do the after game. the when the Cubs lose again to the Pirates next week. Yeah, I'll be saying that. Please don't like that. Oh. Yeah, just go if back. If they go into Pittsburgh and get beat, that's going to be Wow. Yeah, well, Not just good. don't jump off your building. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, Gene, I think we're going to get the uh, All right. uh, the music going here. So, my name is uh, Chris Stotz, and that's uh, Gene Steigen. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. We've had a lot of fun. Yeah. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Wow. Hey, the.